Hey, it is your boy Legal Luigi 26, or should I say a text-to-speech program saying my words? I have a nasty stuttering problem. I'm taking a break from mean trash to make a trashy hypothesis. And yes, I mean hypothesis, and not theory. Matt Fag wanted to make a pun off of the existing mathematical concept of game theory and the definition of the term theory changed in the eyes of 12-year-olds everywhere. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm here to talk about the cut classic 2004 anime adaptation of the book of the same name, The Polar Express. The question I've had for a while is how fast does the titular train move? Think of this as diet mythbusters without budget, charm, or quality. This entire video is basically just one math equation you could easily do at home in about an hour or so, but the general population is too lazy for what I'm about to do, just kidding. All you watching this at home are very smart, hardworking and beautiful individuals who I am in no way insulting, so get your hands off the dislike button. Anyhow, enough with the stupid intro, let's get right into the news. The first thing we'll need to do is start to watch the Polar Express movie, and time how much of it is spent on the train. During my family's viewing of it this year, I pulled out a stopwatch and timed the time from when the train left from to the fraction of a second and did it again for scientific accuracy. When removing the scenes where the train stops and ending at the conductor's quote, we just crossed it latitude 66 degrees, 33 minutes. The Arctic Circle, we know it is doing its thing for about 33 minutes, and 43.29 seconds, or 2023.5 seconds. But as there is no longitude given, we'll just assume that it is at 85 degrees, 40 minutes, and 5 seconds west, the same as the city I'll cover next. Next, we know that a named kid number, sorry, hero boy or some frick like that. I'll just call him Chris instead. Chris's house is stated to be located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, or about 42 degrees, 57 minutes, and 47 seconds north, or 85 degrees, 40 minutes, and 5 seconds west. Being that I hail from Michigan, this piqued my interest many years ago, after the two past years of me saying I was gonna make this video, I'm finally gonna do it, I just went on a tangent again. Using these two distances as a point we can compare the distance from the Arctic Circle to Grand Rapids. Thanks to websites like nationalhurricanecenter.gov, movabletype.org, and stephenmorris.org, I don't have to do much work while there were minute differences in each calculation. The average distance is 2,618.9 kilometers, or 1,627.3 miles as the crow flies. I always think that expression is stupid. Now we can get the answer to the speed question using division. By dividing 2618.9 kilometers over 2023.5 seconds, we now can answer that a Polar Express moves at about 4659.76 kilometers an hour, or 2895.42 miles an hour. That's nearly 11 times faster than the world's fastest train, the Shanghai Maglev, at 267 miles per hour. Do you know what this means? That this is just a stupid Christmas movie and should not be taken seriously. Ha ha ha. Nope. This means that the Polar Express breaks the sound barrier. That can't be very good when Chris and friends stand on the front of the train. I would like to talk in detail about what effects this would have on the kids physically, but call me Sonic Team, because I rushed this out for the holidays. Remember, this is just a silly hypothesis not made to be taken seriously. After all, if the Polar Express goes that fast, then hardly a single shot of the movie would make any sense. Well, about as little sense as a humongous locomotive traveling through Canada that takes American children away on Christmas Eve and returns them home before dawn. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay rad.